Hi, my name's Ron Smith. I'm with Land Care based in Coffs Harbour and been involved with the Indian Miner Trapping Program for about 10 years. This trap was designed by a gentleman called Peter Green in Canberra, commonly known as the PG Trap, and has been widely used throughout the country now, and if made correctly and used properly is very effective. When making the traps, it is important to follow the plans carefully and be particularly careful to make the pieces the right size as per the plan. Useful tools, um, a small pair of pliers, it's easy to use between the mesh, a good set of wire cutters, the file, a, a finer file the better. Filing cut edges is an important part of making the trap. The cut edges are very sharp. A mesh crimping tool is an easy and effective way to attach the shade cloth to the top of the trap and we use plastic tubing as hinges with a mesh staple crimped around that as well. Makes a very good hinge. The trap consists of two pieces. The smaller piece we call the entry section of the trap which has opening funnels that the birds pass through to get into the trap to get some food. We find that a small dried dog food is the best kind of attractant to use in the trap. The birds can be turned back out through the funnels, but normally they look for another way. They want to go upwards. So there is another opening on that section that leads into the, the other larger section of the trap, which we refer to as the containment section. The birds pass through a valve system from one to the other, which is a one-way passage. When folding the sheets of mesh for the major sections, it is important that the upright wire be on the inside of the bend. If it is on the outside of the bend, the mesh tends to break, the wells come apart. The other important features is the size of the entry chambers, which are clearly demonstrated in the plan. By reducing the funnel, you'll greatly reduce the number of birds that will enter the trap. People often refer to trap shyness and often that's because the funnel has been made a little smaller or the wires at the end of the funnel have been turned inwards. It is quite critical that that funnel is the right size. That is three squares wide by six squares high. The valve piece that goes into the larger section of the trap, it is important that the backing piece be added to it. This stops the birds from sitting on the mesh and finding their way back down through the valve. Other important features of the trap are the welfare features, which includes perches, food troughs, and shelter from the weather, particularly shade, so that the birds are treated in a humane way. The perches, we find best to drill small holes at the ends and actually wire them to the mesh with fine tie wire. Also with the food dishes and the water dish, which we make out of used plastic food containers of a suitable size, and they also are tied in so that the birds can't knock them over, and they are made with a hole cut in the side of them so that the birds don't foul the food or the water. On the top of the trap, we place a tree guard as most suitable plastic, and over that some good heavy shade cloth, which we clip on with clips to hold it in place. This provides shelter for the birds, but also it gives the bird a sense of security, which is important when using decoy birds or when you do get birds in the trap. Because if the birds are not happy and they're if they're distressed, the other birds will know not to come near it. We hope this video is helpful to you to assist in the making of better traps. And there's other information available on the Land Care websites that will help you to understand any of the pieces that you find difficult. We wish you every success in trapping.